Today I'm going to show you guys how to import your assets into Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, as you can see here, I have my um, assets kind of separated by uh, audio, images, and video. Um, obviously, if you have stuff, uh, like if you're creating stuff in Photoshop or Illustrator, um, you can keep those in extra additional uh, folders. Um, but I, I strongly suggest uh, keeping as, as organized as possible, which it just makes it easier to um, find assets that you need to look at and um, put new ones into your project. Um, the reason we're keeping it organized like this is Premiere Pro doesn't actually keep the files inside it uh, like a Photoshop document is. When you copy and paste an image in a Photoshop document, um, it stays a part of the document. Premiere basically act, uh, just kind of points to different things on your hard drive, um, which is why you want to make sure you keep them in a consistent place. Um, for this class, you are going to be uploading your renders um, to YouTube to share them. Um, otherwise, you would have had to like send all the video files, images, and audio files that you had used for your project, which just kind of gets to be a little um, intense, especially when it comes to uploading um, such large size files. Um, so when you open up Premiere, um, you're going to get this new project window. Um, for now, just uh, I'm going to point to that folder, which I already have set up here. So I just find uh, that folder on my hard drive, which is that one right there, and say select folder. Um, and then I'm just going to name it um, importing sets. Okay. Uh, and then I get this new sequence, and I, I know this probably looks uh, very intimidating at first, but I'm just going to have you guys kind of bypass this uh, scene right here, or this window right here, and go right to settings. Um, I'm going to have you go to custom, because since our end result is going to be on YouTube, uh, we want to make sure uh, that it's the right settings. Um, time base, 29.97 is fine, you can try 30. Um, but traditionally, I would probably just keep it at 29.97. Uh, that's what the uh, traditionally what the uh, the frame rate is for uh, video. Um, 30 is usually what I do for animation, but 29.97 is fine. Um, for frame size, um, I'd like you guys to be at least using 720 by 480, um, which is standard definition. Um, if you want to do 720p, um, that would be 1280. By 720. Um, if you want to do HD, uh, it'd be 1920 by 1280. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, by 1080. So, um, this should uh, the, what you're shooting and what images you're using. That's kind of gonna guide this. So, if you're shooting on a standard def uh, camera, then you want to make your video that size. So basically the size of your footage is going to be dictate what your frame size is going to be. Um, most of like uh, footage that you shoot with a, a smartphone right now is going to be 1080, so this will be fine. Uh, the next thing I want you to look at is pixel aspect ratio. Well, actually, for this demonstration, I'm going to knock it back down to 720. So I think it's a nice, happy medium between the two. Oop. 1280. 720. That's right. All right. Um, I'm going to pick square pixels. Um, what this means uh, is when you are looking at a television screen, uh, pixels are differently shaped than they are on a monitor. Um, so this we want it to be square pixels since um, we're optimizing it to be viewed on a computer monitor. Um, everything else looks pretty good, so we're just going to hit OK. Um, so now, um, the next thing you will notice is that you have all these bunch of different windows. You can customize this, uh, but I strongly suggest to start with, you just start with, uh, if you go to Window, Workspace, you have a lot of different options here. Um, and as you get more familiar with it, you can kind of customize it the way you see fit. But I would just start with Base Editing, um, which gives you um, your timeline, um, um, your source window, your program window, and your project window, which are pretty much the only ones you need at this point. Um, there's a bunch of new other ones for sound and whatnot, but let's just focus on this for now. So to import uh, assets into Premiere, you simply double click anywhere on the project window, and I can sit here and I just highlight them, click open, um, and what I would, no, no, put 
as a list so it's a little easier to see. And you can organize this even more, just add some folders, so I'll just say, put my video files in here, just highlight these and drag them in. And then I can double click here, and let's go back to some of my images. for audio. And as you can see, going back to that file folder, it's created a bunch of new um, folders like your autosave and Premiere Preview file, pre the Premiere Pro Preview files, um, as well as um, that's where it's actually saving your Premiere Pro document. So I will go to audio, open, get that in the folder. So once you get to that point, uh, you're pretty much ready to start the editing process.